have you ever thought about my death and what you do if I died today? Hey. <laughs> you have no you have no idea. Pick a head and a high tail. So you see who's that first? I want the head. Okay. Don't cheat. I'm not cheating. <laughs> so you go first. Yes, ladies first, as usual. Okay. Right. Let's see what we have. Okay. <laughs> At what point did you realize that you wanted to marry me? So I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that guy who lived with uh, grandmom, grandparents for a long time. So it got to a point, my mom usually used to come to our place, my dad too comes sometimes. So that, I, I didn't really like that mar marriage vibe until I started uh, listening to some preachers and also seeing some people sing and all that. Uh, especially, I think this, this man inspired me. Mr. and Mrs. Mann, Tamela Mann and David Mann. I'm sure you guys know them. So they, they inspired me. You don't know them. Oh, one woman. Okay, what is it? Anyway, take me to the king. Okay, before we need to make sure. <laughs> they are we, we popular. And also uh, Bishop Dag, Dag Mills and the wife, they also inspired me. So anytime they talk about marriage, I'm like, oh, yeah, this thing, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Even though my parents didn't show so any of that. So what was the point where you realized that now I want to marry you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. So I, I, I think I joined uh, Lighthouse in 2010. Yeah, so at that point, when I started listening to uh, Dag Mills and the wife, so that's when I started music too. And uh, so I began catching the vibe. So at that point, I already see me too. So at a young age, I don't remember school, 2013, and I'm in high school. So sa 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 sa. So say it got to you. So it got to you. I realized that okay, this is the this is the time. The school time in now. We used to anytime I visit your hostel, near that and Papa, so there will be okay. If you, if you give birth, first boy, what will be the name? That this kind of vibe. You understand? So I felt when we were in school, the way I used to visit you in your hostel, you also come to mind. I, I personally, I felt we were already married. Wow. Yes. Mom is a mad day. If you reveal such things to them, I'm a Mr. T.A. is quirky, is quirky. So I just, yeah, I just kept to myself. But I, I felt we were already married. Let me yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. The reason why I'm saying this is because at a point, Maybe I have a gig after the gig. About two krana, you call two a.m. You call me. Oh my, Janice, you won't be there now. You see, I, I, yeah, I caught the vibe that okay, this is what my people do. So we're already married. So we having an official marriage ceremony now. And not there. And na any meeting until say my reverend came in. Because in my church, you see young people getting married every now and then. I've attended more weddings than funerals, seriously, because, yeah, so it's a vibe. So, getting married to you now, because I didn't really meet him, because I, I, I had a feeling we were already in a thing. But just that, you know, our norms, so you have to make it official so that everybody will know that, yes, you've got to marry. Okay. So that's it. What do you say? What do you say? Okay, since you started with growing up, yeah. let me also just say that growing up, I, I lived with a single mom. I never got to know my dad until a certain point where I had to go look for him myself. And you know, I wanted to have a feel of how to have a family, like a dad, a mom, kids kind of family. So I was always ready, like every relationship I went to, Nobody can tell me I wasn't talking about marriage. Like, once we entered the relationship and I catch the vibe, like, I try to tell you this is my, this is my goal, and you go the other way, you are not ready. Like, I just moved to the next person. 
till so I was doing that till I met you and then I was like okay. sorry not to interrupt but I I, I quite oh I don't remember remember we talking about marriage at the early stage we did are you sure I, I said I don't really remember we had, that we had a very long conversation we had a long the longest conversation okay. I've ever had in my life okay the first time we talked we yeah, talked about a lot of a lot of things, things. and it was the first day future even things that we wanted we wanted for the future we talked about mm -hmm. some of them do you remember i think that day not my phone my lectures around five when i go home that was the time we started talking so the next day yeah that was when my roommates got to know that i i was talking to yeah, a, so a for lady me, it, it's it's always been at that point but getting to know the person's vibe with you and then the person also clicking with your goal was what was important okay that's nice okay so my question what do you love about us what do you love about us hey unless you give me pen and paper <laughs> cost is a lot it's a lot like a lot but i can mention a few okay what i like about us is that we have this kind of vibe like no matter how no matter how like we are angry at each other like we still you still ask me where's, where's, where's my food <laughs> you still ask me like and the moment he asks me that question like the the fight is forgotten. Like there's nothing like a fight or anything anywhere. And what I also like about us is the fact that uh, you, especially you, help me with a lot of things at home, which society may think that you are not supposed to be doing as a man. Like what you do for me in the mornings. Like you help me get the kids to bath before whilst I go and make their food for school. Okay. If you could uh, change one thing in our relationship, what would that be? Hey. What would if I, I could, please, the question again. If you could change something in our relationship, mm. what, what would that be? <sighs> the fact that we are Ghanaians. I'm not saying I hate being Ghanaian, but you I just, do. no. You hate being a Ghanaian. <laughs> Just let the whole world. Oh, no, 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 no. How no, Venkasa, you know? Venkasa. Venkasa, no. No, no. This, this listen. It, it didn't come from my mouth. Yes, I understand. It came from I your know. Own I know. Listen, but my problem is uh -huh. the fact that we are currently in Ghana. I'm not feeling the vibe. I wish we could just move somewhere. Travel. No. For vacation. No, 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 no. No vacation, please. For what? Please. 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 Seriously. My question is how have. I contributed positively to our marriage. How have I contributed positively to our marriage? I'm trying to list them in my head. <laughs> positively in our marriage. So we've been married for like almost four years. And as I said earlier, when it comes to like the children, like they are, it's so much, it's so stressful with children. So once you get a husband that is able to help you with them, I mean, it's kind of like a stress relief. Do you get it? So for me, it's like a positive something because not all men do that not all men especially in this part of the world not all men do that so i think it's one positive thing that um it's about our marriage at the moment and another positive thing is the support sometimes i know i get all worked out with certain things and i go away off. but you're always there like you're always there to support me and all that and yeah it's also a positive thing 
let me just leave it at these two because <laughs> these are the two main things that I feel they are very positive about my marriage. Okay. So what about you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. If you get a supportive wife as well. Yeah. yeah. To talking about support, some people may think that support is all about let's say I'm taking you uh, for example, let's say if I say a positive wife, mean meaning she helps me like financially, you know that some some somebody might use us as, as an example, yeah. but yeah, my the support I'm talking about is emotional support, financial support to come, but I, I'm not centering on that here. I'm so, uh, I want to talk about everything, emotional, physical, psychological, everything. Okay. Um, a woman was uh, created from a man and uh, their main thing as a wife is to support their their husbands so let's say my, i'm home and i've gotten back from work and i'm home and i think one or two things that you do take me out of my misery because of my my kind of work that i do and one way or the other two you are there for me when i i need you because i can go out come back I'll, I'll come to my i'll come back to my wife and my wife she's the first person i'll see whenever i knock on the door or i ring the doorbell or something she's she's the first person i'll see even though i see my kids too but she's the first person she would open the door for me to enter so immediately i see you i feel at peace i feel at home i know okay yeah i've come back to my pillow somebody i can put my head on you know have uh, good thoughts as well so that, that's one positive thing that I think you've, you've helped me and the kids with. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Please cut it with you. Did I cry? When you talk about our marriage to people, what do you usually say? What do I usually say? Okay. You know, people would always want to listen to bad news and take it away. Mm -hmm. So I won't tell you uh, the bad things. Like what you did to me the other time, late in the evening. <laughs> How can I tell them about it? No, it's between you and I. Please. It's between you and I. So mostly when I'm talking about our marriage to people, I'll, I always talk about you and talk about the kids. That's mostly what I talk about. Okay. Yes. I talk about you and the kids. And that's what I talk about. The... Mm, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I can't go into details. So not that I, I, I don't want to go into details, but what I talk about is you and the kids. Okay. Yes. So it, it draws them closer to getting a kid or getting married. Because yeah, they see the beauty in it. So. For me, mm. when I'm talking, I don't really talk to people about my marriage because it's my marriage like whatever has to do with my marriage is my business but i'm mostly talking about my my husband and my kids in a positive way you you won't you won't get any negative vibe from me i feel like it's not your business yeah mm, yeah but putting you in the positive side is your business you need to know and then get to know how marriage can be though it's not always i won't let you feel like it's always clean it? like it's always cool it's always that vibe between us like it sometimes really get crazy but i mean you just have to put things at your back and then move on so that's what i do so you've never shared any drama what? with a friend any drama they say maybe I did something, you saw something, you are trying to discuss with a friend or tell a friend about it. Hey, today my husband did this. Oh, then, then, then. oh no. Hey, but you said earlier, you said uh, you don't make them feel so rosy every yeah. time. So maybe because there might be instances where... No, that one, that one is like, mm. it, it depends on whether we are talking about something relating to, relating that. to okay. an issue I have been through before, then... I use that as an example, but I do not go into details. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't go into details with the uh, negative. So my question, 
what would make you leave me? I think I know the answer to that, but yeah, tell us. What would make you leave me? I have me? said this all over and over again. Social media. Before, yeah. And I'm saying it again so that people don't come at me saying, you said this one here, and you are changing your words and all that. Mm. I have said it. Should I answer for Nothing you? can make me change uh-huh. my mind okay. about my marriage uh-huh. unless mm-hmm. it gets physical. The only time that I'm going to run away and save my own life is when you start beating me to like physically abusing you. Okay. Yes. And it, it won't even it won't even happen twice. The moment you hit me, I'm gone. The moment I hit you. Yeah. Like right now. So if I hit you. I'm yeah, because that's how it starts. So the moment you Oh but you know sometimes the, it can be there, I just No, not not those kind of like uh, tappings. Okay. But the moment I get scars, like a beating uh, that I'll get bruises and scars. Okay. But you know there are beatings that you get bruises and scars. <laughs> Okay, okay. And that, those ones are friendly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, right. Well, that's cool. I think so, you're repeating the same thing. So there's no way. So I can do any other thing aside beating you. So fine. Not that you can do any other thing. No. Literally. You that's are what not, you're you are to not say. saying. I'm not saying you can do any other thing. But yeah. that's the only reason. Why you would leave. Yeah. Okay. Meaning if I do any other thing, thing you reconsider. But no, I, if I, I won't you. leave, but mm-hmm. it, the marriage will not be the same. Be the same. Yeah. Okay. That one is so obvious. Okay. Sure. Okay. So to answer your question, if you are to ask me, what will make me leave? Have I have I answered this question before? No. Uh, okay. Nothing. Nothing, because the Bible said. Not even when I beat you too. Oh, okay, you can't beat me. Come I can't beat you. Oh, please. You can't beat me. I run, I run away. You don't know where I'm coming from. You know from me, you. I run away. Eh? I run away. You, know, you want to push me, but I won't mind you. I run away. Uh, I'd rather leave home mm-hmm. than to have you argue with me or get physical with me to the extent that I might be forced to do something to you. No, no, no. I run away. Serious. Yeah. So, yeah, to, to answer your question, uh, nothing will make me, as I said earlier, the Bible said, even if your wife cheats on you, will you decide? whether to accept her or let her go. So when it gets there, we will cross the river. But I'm not sure because, let me say this again, that you've given me two beautiful kids and nobody can love your kids like you do. Not even my mom, not even your mom. It will get to a point, they'll they'll get fed up. Hey, ooh, I can't do this, I can't do that, oh, this, 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 but you as the mom, you brought them in the, into this world. Nobody can love their kids more than, more you, than do. you do. Exactly. And nobody can take care of them more than you do. They will try their best, but not... But not they may not make the sacrifices you exactly. make for them. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't leave you, and obviously I'm still young, I might be forced to, to, I don't want to use some words, I, I, I might be forced to, take someone else and I wouldn't like the way the person would treat my kids because it's something I've seen with getting to my parents you know my parents got divorced when I was three years just three years old and stepbrothers come in you see the woman will be doing one or two things that you wouldn't feel okay no I don't want my kids to be in that situation yeah yeah so even if you would want to divorce my kids I would, I would make it a point that my kids won't get affected, like how I was affected. Do you understand? Yes. Even they, they wouldn't get to know. When they grew up and they watched this thing, and they went to the bus, maybe we change what we have in mind. <laughs> for life. <laughs> yes, exactly. For life that. is for life. Yes, yes. So, as I said earlier, nothing will make me change my mind. We are in this together till eternity. God bless you too. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> what one thing do you wish I could do more often? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I wish, I wish, I you wish. Say your mind. Say your mind. Don't allow me to do the work more often. You have to do some. 
Which work? <laughs> Tell the whole world what work you are talking about. Okay. So, Feel what, free. I'm yeah, what I'm trying to say is that you don't like sweeping the room. You always want me to sweep because I sweep, I like sweeping. So please. And I don't. Yes. And so I like sometimes. doing the laundry and you don't. So well, it's okay. Mr. Laundry, dear. Laundry is something you love doing. It's like your hobby. It's like your hobby. Sweeping is something you love doing. Yes. But so don't, don't allow me to do it often. When was the last time you swept? This morning. Because I did. Yes. I'm not so, home. Yeah. Yes, basically that's it. Uh, so if I'm not around, that's when you do it. <laughs> so when I'm at home, I always do it. Yes, but in the long run, please try to do it. So often. that's the only thing. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. No, say it. <laughs> I know. I've already answered no, it. It's a sweeping want to know. thing. Everybody wants to know. It's a sweeping thing. So let's say it. No, it's a sweeping. thing. <laughs> what do you, you say? said something. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm also you asking. You the, said the something. Yes. You said something. Yes. Yes, it's ended. It's a work. No. So fast. You said you want me to do something more than. Yeah, um, sweeping. Eh? It's sweeping. Sweeping. So sometimes I also <laughs> cook and you. You, know, you also cook. Oh, of course. Hey. Ah. If they don't cook for me, oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you the same question, so please answer me. What I want you to do more often. Often, yes. Okay. They have been you. Mm. How many should I say? Oh, everything. I want you to always come back home. Not in your element. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. One. And that's what I want you to be doing more. As in like coming home with a smile. That is how come I have made that rule for you. That anytime you come home, you have to do this. Yes. You have to do it. Because if you don't do it, you are owing me money. It's a matter of money. So because I've put money on it, you've refused to miss it. Do you? No I, I almost missed it the other time. Yeah, I had. I, I wish I, I never looked at you like that way. Because yeah. it, it looks like it reminded you yes, of I what do. you had to do. <laughs> right. But you still went. You still went back into your elements after. So yeah. That, I think that's what I want you to do more. And I, I feel like you should also be more concerned about, like, some things. Like, there are certain things that I don't really need you to, like, do something extra. I just, like, when I'm in my own corner, it's like when I'm in a certain kind of way, you just move your eyes and then you just be watching your TV and it's like, I feel like, ah, so are you not noticing that something is going on or what? Do you get it? Sometimes I just need you to show just consent, that's all. Okay. It's not anything, it, 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 uh, just the consent alone would okay. make things better. Yeah. I, I also wish sometimes you you talk about that's it. Only, yeah. Oh, no. I'm trying. You talk about it. I'll talk about mm. it. Yeah, sometimes it's you, not like I don't, don't talk. Expect. I don't want to talk about it. Like mm. sometimes I just want to process it. Mm. I want to know if like it's even necessary to talk about because yeah. You, you, yeah but yeah, you know you love drama. You love drama. Because I'm an actress. So. <laughs> you love drama. Sometimes you, a little, you, just a little drama. Oh, you see, to, things, to you know, like, I, I don't like it. drama. Yeah. You know me. You need to like see, drama. You see, in Ghana. In Ghana. But sometimes, eh, sometimes it hurts me that I'm not being dramatic, but you're, you think I'm always being dramatic. Well, you're always dramatic. No, I'm not. Just like your son. Both of you are very dramatic. I'm not. Sometimes, I'm not, sometimes really I accept that, you. that okay. I can be dramatic, okay. but you have personalized it that I am always you dramatic. Are, you're so mostly dramatic. There are certain things. That's why I'm saying that there are certain things you don't show concern because you think I'm being dramatic. Yes, of course. About so if, I, if I notice you're being dramatic, I'll maybe just, I'll just... I am not being dramatic. Okay. So just like concern. a few days ago, I wasn't being dramatic. You I was really hurt. <laughs> I wasn't. Trust me. Okay, sure. So I'm sorry about that. You're forgiven a long time ago. We didn't go <laughs> Okay, I think you're, you've exhausted your Yes, questions. I was just asking my question. Okay, so, so. Your last question. Your last question. Yeah, done. Oof. This is gross. 
have you ever thought about my death and what you do if I died today? Hey. <laughs> you have no you have no idea. Like when I when I see people dying when I see people die, especially when I lost my little brother, I was like, anybody can go at any time. So right now and in this in this situation that I am right now financially, like I think about that a lot because I'm like if it should happen now, like I'm finished. Because I don't know how I'm going to be catering for these two kids. Like there are two. <laughs> it's not like it's one like you can manage or anything. But I don't even want to think about it. Okay. It's going to be a very terrible thing for me. <laughs> Maybe I may die in a month or two after. Hey, I don't say that. Well, because I may go mad on the streets or hey. like get frustrated and also Easy. die. Easy. I'm not going to commit suicide though, hey. but the whole situation may uh, end up getting messed up. Well, I, but I wish it doesn't happen that way. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, for, for your sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in my situation. Should you die? I think I already told you. It's something I keep telling you. Keep telling you yes. that you measurable. Exactly. Because uh, I wouldn't have that time to go in for someone new. The new person is not coming to learn how to fix things for me, how to do this, do that. Because you already know. You already know what I like to eat, how I want my things done. Okay. So I, would, I, I wouldn't. I, I think getting a new person would bring tension between my kids, the way I treat my kids, because she really like the way I treat my kids. Mm -hmm. You understand? So should you leave me today? I'll Which be I very, exactly. I will be very miserable. I'll be very miserable. I have like seven hundred and fifty five more years. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. So you don't get problem. Yeah. Yes. So I pray it never happens. I pray we both die together at uh, an older age. Yeah. 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 I, pray, I don't. And if if I, I, we should grow together, sad till some time. I'm just hoping that you don't leave me. I want to leave you before you do, so I can oh, no. tell tell my grandkids about me when I was young. Hey. Yeah, of course. Who's that? Oh no, no, no. I, maybe I'll be 90 before I die, you don't, you don't know, or 110. Okay, then I'll reduce the 700. Eh, it's too much. To like 85. <laughs> so by the time you'll be 90 years, now me, I'm going to cry. No, 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 I don't want you to be. Please Nobody stay. wants to suffer. Nobody, me I, mean, I don't want to come and sit down and cry for you. Oh, no, uh, by then you just celebrate my life. A celebration. Eh, hey, hey, 90 years. No, it's not. It's, the, person is, the person is dead. Mm. Whether the person is old or the person, the person has okay. departed so, from you. So, so no, the feeling is always the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm praying that at the age of 90, when we are 90, let's say I'm 90 and 85 or yeah, 85, I'm 80 or whatever. So like maybe, it is, we all, when we go to yes, bed in the so evening, we wake we up. We are going, we are going. Then, yeah. I think that would be better. Yes, yes. that would be better. Because we, if God makes it happen. Till like, eternity. Yes, yeah. I mean, after, after life, I will still choose you. Okay. Even though we can be stubborn at times, eh? it's Charlie. <laughs>